Welcome to the hands-on section. In this tutorial, I will show how to use pre-trained specialized once-for-all subnetworks for efficient inference on diverse hardware platforms, and how to get new specialized new networks on ImageNet with the once-for-all network within minutes. Once-for-all is an efficient auto-email technique that decouples training from search. Different subnetworks can directly grab weights from the once for all network without training. Therefore, getting a new specialized neural network with the once for all network is highly efficient, incurring little computation cost. As shown in this figure, once for all reduces the CO2 emission by three orders of magnitude compared to uh, the conventional uh, autoimmune method. Okay, let's first prepare the environment for this tutorial. Notice that uh, once for all is now available on pipe. You can install the uh, once for all code base by running pipe install OFA. It contains the training code, pre trained specialized subnetworks, and pre trained once for all networks. Okay, good. Then we can import the packages used in this tutorial. And we also need to set up the GPU uh, for neural network inference. Uh, if the GPU is not available, we will use the CPU by default. Okay, next, uh, let's import the once for network. Here we can see that we only need one line of code to, uh, to build the once for network and load the pre trained weight. Okay, this uh, once for all network used in this uh, in the tutorial is built upon mobile net v3 with with multi uh, multiplier 1.2. It supports elastic depth per stage and the elastic uh, expand ratio, elastic kernel size per block. In total, uh, uh, this single once for all network comprises more than 10 to the power of 19 different subnetworks simultaneously. Okay, then we uh, build the ImageNet dataset. Uh, you can specify the path to the ImageNet data on your machine. And if you, you are using the uh, machine provided by Amazon for this tutorial, please use this path and uh, uh, press Enter. So it shows the ImageNet data files are ready. And uh, if the GPU is not available, so we will skip this part since evaluating neural networks on ImageNet using CPU will be very slow. Then we build the uh, data loader using uh, using this data set. Okay, great. Uh, the whole preparation phase is done. So let's now let's try some uh, pre-trained specialized once for subnetworks for warm up. Uh, these specialized subnetworks are sampled from the big uh, once for all network. Uh, it does not require any training cost to get this uh, subnetwork. Therefore, once for all can be uh, efficient to handle many deployment scenarios. Uh, and uh, for example, here with under 40 uh, deployment scenarios, we can uh, once for all can reduce the uh, design cost by uh, six. Uh, 16 times to uh, 1,000 and 300 times. Okay. Uh, here you can choose uh, the hardware platform that you want to uh, deploy the model. For example, we uh, use the Google Pixel Y here, and then you can choose the target latency constraint, such as uh, 20 milliseconds. Then the code will automatically download the pre-trained uh, once for uh, subnetwork and uh, evaluate this model on the ImageNet validation set. Uh, it takes uh, a few minutes to finish this step since uh, the, uh, the ImageNet data set is quite large. So you can see here, uh, evaluating a new network on ImageNet is actually not very cheap. Uh, in the search phase, we actually need to evaluate like this for thousands of times. Moreover, if the target constraint changes, we will need to repeat the whole process again and again. So this is actually not very efficient. 
So in the next part, we will show uh, how to handle this uh, issue. It's done. You can see that the measured accuracy is exactly matches the results uh, included in the network ID. So you can also try other specialized subnetworks by running this cell. In total, we provided uh, 50 pre-trained specialized subnetworks for 10 different hardware platforms and the flops. So now you are familiar with how to use an existing subnetwork. Uh, it's time to search uh, your own specialized neural networks. Let's begin with latency constraint search on Samsung Note 10. The key component to address the issue of the search cost are accuracy predictors and efficiency predictors. So the accuracy predictor predicts the accuracy of a given subnet on a holdout, a holdout validation set without running costly inference on ImageNet. Notice that this holdout validation set is a 10K randomly sampled subset of training images rather than the official 50K validation set. The root mean square error of this accuracy predictor is only 0.2%, uh, incurring a negligible error. Okay, let's build the accuracy predictor. You can also check the uh, detailed architecture of the accuracy predictor here. And besides the accuracy predictor, we also need the efficiency predictor. The motivation is that Measuring the latency of a subnetwork on the fly is also uh, very costly, especially for mobile devices. The latency predictor can eliminate this cost with little error. Uh, so here we load the uh, pre-built latency uh, predictor on uh, Samsung Note 10. Okay, great. Uh, both the accuracy predictor and the latency uh, predictor are ready. Now we can search uh, your specialized neural networks. Here we use the evolutionary search. You can also implement your own search algorithm. As you can see, uh, searching uh, with predictors is very efficient. Uh, it only requires a few seconds to search a model. Uh, you can also modify hyperparameters here to see how they affect the search time and uh, the accuracy results. Okay, uh, he here shows the search results. So this, this model achieves 82.7% uh, uh, predicted accuracy with uh, less than 30 milliseconds latency on Note 10. You can also check the detailed architecture of the search uh, model here. And uh, 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 you can modify the hyperparameters here to check the uh, uh, the results. For example, here we uh, change the latency constraints from uh, 30 milliseconds to 25 milliseconds and uh, rerun this cell. Okay, let's check the results of the searched model under the uh, 25 milliseconds latency constraint on node 10. So we can see that this model achieves a slightly lower predicted accuracy than the previous one, as the latency constraint is tighter. Then let's evaluate the model on the real ImageNet dataset. Again, it will take a few minutes since the full ImageNet validation set is quite large. So here we also include the results of proxy SNAS and the MobileNet V3 for reference. So notice that uh, after getting this search uh, subnetwork, you can further fine tune this model on the full ImageNet training data to improve the accuracy. So in our experiments, uh, after fine training for 25 epochs, our model can achieve up to 4.1% higher top one accuracy than MobileNet V3 and 12.3% uh, higher top one accuracy than mobile net v2 with uh with the same latency great the evaluation is done you get a new specialized neural network within minutes that can achieve clearly better accuracy than mobile net v3 which requires hundreds of gp hours to train 
Uh, finally, let's try a uh, flops constraint uh, efficient deployment. Here we use the same accuracy predictor but change the efficiency predictor to the flops lookup table. And uh, similarly, here we use uh, also use the evolutionary search based on the predictor to search for uh, specialized subnetworks. Uh, and we search three different subnetworks on the three flops constraints to form the trade off curve, including 600 million flops and 400 million flops and 350 million, hundred, uh, million flops. So here, uh, this figure shows the trade-off curve. We can see uh, the uh, predicted uh, holdout uh, top one accuracy grows as the uh, uh, blobs uh, constraint uh, increase. Then let's evaluate uh, the searched models on MGNet. Again, uh, you can further fine tune the searched model on the full ImageNet training set to improve the accuracy performance. So this figure shows, uh, shows our results after fine training for 75 epochs. So uh, a very interesting uh, observation uh, in this figure is that uh, training the same architecture from scratch cannot reach the same accuracy. So it, it shows that uh, once for is not just searching the architecture. The weights of the subnetworks also help to improve the final performances. Okay, let's go back to the evaluation. We can see that the searched model clearly outperforms the state-of-the-art efficient new networks, including efficient net, mobile net v3, and proxyless NAS. It only requires a few minutes to achieve all of this. Additionally, we can also see that the predicted holdout uh, accuracy is highly po positive correlated with the ImageNet validation accuracy, showing that it, uh, this is a good proxy metric to select subnetworks. Okay, congratulations. We have just finished all the contents of this tutorial. Hope you enjoy playing with the once for all networks. If you are interested, please refer to our paper and GitHub repo for further details. Thank you.